Now the process of tearing our country even further apart can finally begin. On Sunday, Attorney General William Barr presented a four-page letter to Congress that explained that Robert Mueller's two-year investigation into President Donald Trump's campaign does not exonerate the president on obstruction, but rather sets out evidence on both sides of the question. Mueller's probe did not find evidence that Trump's 2016 presidential campaign colluded with Russia to influence the election results. <laughs> so what, he won the top job based on his qualifications and merits? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a cracker of a joke. All right, well anyway, over on ABC's Jimmy Kimmel Live, the host spoke of the baffling results, saying... I haven't been this confused about an ending uh, since the series finale of Lost. I really, I don't know what... Ah, uh, but you see the difference there, Jimmy, is that the ending of Lost was widely interpreted as them all being in purgatory, whereas in this case, we are most definitely in hell. Pointing out a hole in the long-running theory that Trump had colluded with Russia in order to win, Kimmel quipped. And didn't we really all, deep down, didn't we know Trump probably didn't collude with Russia because he could never pull that off? Kimmel also noted that the news was a bigly victory for Trump, before joking. The only way Trump could be happier with this Mueller report is if a porn star rolled it up and spanked him with it. Over on CBS, Stephen Colbert took time on The Late Show to find the humor in the troubling news that our president is not a Russian asset. I say troubling because if Trump is not working with the Russians, then what the hell is wrong with him, the host joked. If they don't have anything on him, why does he keep saying nice things about Vladimir Putin? <laughs> Gobert described Barr's letter as anticlimactic, comparing it to a parent saying, guess what, kids, Sandra came and he brought mostly nothing. Like Kimmel, Colbert also likened the report to the finale of Lost, saying it was worse than the conclusion of the hit ABC show, questioning, what about the smoke monster? Was it real or not? And if not, why have so many members of Trump's campaign pled guilty to lying about meeting with the smoke monster? He added that he wished the ending could be more like Seinfeld, saying, still disappointing, but at least they're all in jail. And on Comedy Central's Daily Show, host Trevor Noah took a deep dive into the Mueller news, taking particular note of the language Trump uses to get his point across. The Mueller investigation report is in and it says there was no collusion, Noah began. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit disappointing. A lot of us were expecting something different. It's a little bit like coming down the stairs on Christmas morning. You were hoping for a brand new BMX, but instead you find Santa's dead body. Burnt because your parents forgot to turn off the fire. Referring to the fact that Trump has said the words no collusion probably more times than he said witch hunt, which was 170 at last count, FYI, Noah theorized that the commander in chief had used the popular book The Secret to manifest the good news for himself by simply saying it so many times and suggested that we use this to our future advantage. Yeah, instead of fighting him, we should just ask him to use his powers for good. Just get Donald to start saying things that we don't want. No student debts, no student debts! No more debt, folks, it's all gone, all gone. Now, if you were wondering how Trump celebrated the news of his non-exoneration, or non-oration, as I'm gonna call it, Noah had a prediction. You did not collude! <laughs> Throwing to a Fox News clip in which a reporter noted that Trump was cracking jokes at a fundraising dinner and playing golf with Kid Rock soon after hearing the news, Noah said what we were all thinking. Playing golf with Kid Rock seems more like the punishment to me. To watch full clips of the late night host reacting to the results of the Mueller probe, head to THR.com. For the Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.